Having an authenticator app enabled in Bybit is a great way to keep your account secure. But sometimes you may want to remove or disable the app for some reason. Maybe the phone with your Google Authenticator app is lost or stolen. If you lost access to the Authenticator app and you wish to reset it, watch this video to the very end and I will explain the simple steps you need to follow to remove Google Authenticator from your Bybit. Now, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. On your smartphone, launch your Bybit app and sign in. So, I've already signed in here. I'll tap on my profile and then I'll tap on security here. Here you will see that my two-factor authenticator is already enabled. So I'll tap on this yellow icon here and I'll get a notice saying you will not be able to make withdrawal within 24 hours after you turn off Google Authenticator verification. So if I disable this now, I will not be able to send money out of my Bybit account for 24 hours. So I'll tap on confirm. And here I'm being asked to enter my Bybit password and here to enter my authenticator password. So here the authenticator password they are asking of is the one here. Here's my authenticator app. Is this one here? That's the one they are asking me to provide. So because I still have access to my authenticator, I'll just copy this and then I'll put my password here and my authenticator app will be removed from my Bybit. So, but if you don't have access to your authenticator or you want to reset your Google authenticator, click on this option here, having problem with verification, click on it. And here you will see the option. You won't be able to withdraw access within 24 hours. We are aware of that. So now I have to choose the first option here, which says Google authenticator isn't working. I'd like to reset. So, you can choose this option if the option is not available and you have the second option available just choose it so now i'll have to choose this one now and let's see so i'm being asked to enter the code from my email and sms from my phone so if i enter these two options now i will be able to disable and remove google authenticator from my bybit I will not be using this option here because I still have access to my authenticator. So let me proceed and disable it. So I'll click here and then I'll choose unbind is confirm. So now I will have to enter my password. So let me enter my password. So now I have entered my password. I just need to provide the Google Authenticator. So I'll go to my Authenticator. So here is the blue timer here. So I'll just wait and copy a fresh code. So there is a way to copy it easy and you will not have to memorize it. All I have to do is to wait for a fresh code. Once it appears, okay, I'll just click on it. One, two, for two seconds. And then I'll go to my buy bit and then I'll click on paste, paste. That is it and i'll click confirm said incorrect verification code so i'll go back i'll go back so this one is by bit i wait for a fresh one I'll wait for a fresh one and then i'll press and hold on it for two seconds one two and i'll go back and i'll click on paste and i click confirm that is it have been signed out on buying successful your authenticator have been removed so now i have signed in again so as you can see my security is incomplete here is it the gold authenticator has been removed as you can see security level is low now that you have removed the authenticator from your bybit account don't forget that your bybit account security is now incomplete so I suggest you enable it again. So if you wish to enable your Google Authenticator app again, here is a video I made previously on how to link Google Authenticator to your Bybit account. So if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.